What is going on, IK fam? BN, I'm back again today for another dope Infinity Kingdom video. And I'm excited because in today's video, I want to talk to about the server mail or the kingdom notice slash declaration function that we have been seeing. And this essentially is an update to the feedback and suggestions video, a, a small minor one. Now, the thing we talked about is that we would love to see a server mail or a king's mail feature added in and i still hope that a true one will be added and this is more or less along the lines of what you would typically do if you're in an alliance and then you're going and actually sending an alliance mail out with the way that it looks this way it can be formatted a little bit it can be structured and organized compared to kind of how it is now in with the kingdom notifications now let me just kind of show you and let's briefly review and then i'm just going to show you uh, two a few example kingdom notifications that have been used so the the good thing here is that kind of a half a feature if you will has been added it is just not a full feature and so as an example right if i go here to king and you'll see that i can look at official positions reward orders migrate right if i go to kingdom declaration this is where you go right so this is where you would update you would edit the declaration and then this would also get sent as a system mail the challenge here is that there's limited text and as you can see even though it looks nice and pretty here on the declaration in the middle of the map it still does not format correctly in the mail we'll show you that shortly in addition to you're limited on text right so those are the two big reasons now if the kingdom declaration let's say could maybe go up to like 800 or a thousand in my opinion i really think it should go up to about a thousand characters i think that should be the new limit and then it also should be formatted correctly so now let me show you an example of how that works now you can click on the middle of the map and you can take a look at it but let's look down here at kingdom declaration this was one that was sent two days ago right so you can see it says uh, Kingdom uh, TSP Arascos has edited the Kingdom Declaration too, right? So you have this beginning portion, right? When, in my opinion, I really think they should just put the individual who did it up here at this top nav bar. And then because it already says it's been edited. So you don't have to, you know, this is kind of redundant for it to say that over again. So I feel like they need to get rid of this, right? Remove the quotations, let it be a standard mail. Uh, allow for a subject line to be added right and then you can just have and I, if anything i would change this i would put like a crown or something for the icon so it can be distinguished differently when you're receiving the mail via system um, i think that's really important so i think an icon change here i think it's okay if it says kingdom declaration but i think you should be able to edit the subject line and then maybe somewhere off here it would say who sent it right or Maybe it doesn't and you just allow for them to say sincerely or do some kind of a closing signature with who sent the mail, um, right? Or maybe you include it here somewhere else. But I think the for formatting needs to be improved. I think it's still great that it looks like maybe you can send up to a couple hundred characters worth of text. So it's not an end all be all. But I do think that there are some improvements that can be made. Yes, am I ecstatic and extremely happy that they fi that they did add this in finally to the game? I am, because I think it's going to be a great thing for new servers, right? Basically, any new server that starts uh, basically from S33 on, right, is really, in my opinion, at a big advantage. Because you are now able to message every single player in the server and you're able to give them good information, give them some tips. Yes, even if you're only utilizing limited characters for now, hopefully they improve that or at least expand the characters because I think this can be effortlessly utilized in a lot of positive ways, right? Especially if you have good people, good management, um, and good leaders that are in positions to do that because they care about the health and the state of the server, then yes. Uh, so again, I am... I, I can't wait. But like I said, the reason why I think the new servers or the servers from S33 onward have a huge advantage is because servers before that, for the most part, especially older servers, have already lost activity for whatever reason. Right? The ability to message everyone on the server the, the moment at the earliest opportunity is going to allow for you 
to inform players and then because you are because you're educating them you're letting them know what's happening you have a plan uh, right you're going to be able to have a higher rate of retention of player retention in your server so that's why any server starting from s33 onwards is really in a prime position to have a big advantage to retain as much activity as they can over any of the older servers previous to the 1.2 update so again uh, I, I think it's a great new feature. I think it's a great addition here. Um, but like I said, I would just love for them to expand on it and just do like a server mail or a kingdom declaration or kingdom mail, something like that, added in to the king or the world heart interface for that. Um, and then really it will be peachy. Oh man, it would be easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. And I would be so excited uh, even more. That would, that would make my day. Uh, this is a short one for me. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. Please do... Uh, holla at your boy if we're going to try and keep it new and fresh for the for the um, younger generation and that's it for me i'm out peace